Welcome to another project video tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will learn what is stroboscope and how we can make a stroboscope. A stroboscope is known as a strobe is an instrument used to make cyclically moving objects appear to be moving slow or stationary. Stroboscope produces brief repetitive flashes of the light. The frequency of the flashes of the light is adjustable to different frequencies. When a rotating or vibrating object is observed with the stroboscope, at its vibration frequency or rotational speed, it appears stationary. Thus, stroboscopes are used to measure frequency or the RPM of the rotating objects. Now let's see the wiring diagram to make a stroboscope. But before starting, I would like you guys to please subscribe my channel. Now let's see how we can make this stroboscope. First, we will connect all 1.5 volt batteries in series connections to make 12 volt and 5 volt DC lines. So now we have 5 volts to power Arduino and 12 volts to drive the stroboscope light. We can drive the LED module with NPN transistor. A high frequency signal from Arduino pin 13 is applied at the base of the transistor. Two potentiometers are connected at A0 and A3 analog pins. These potentiometers are used to set the frequency of the stroboscope. Next thing is LCD display. LCD is used in 4-bit configuration in this project. So data pins D4 to D7 are connected to Arduino data pins. After connecting all the wiring and components together, it will look like this. Now it's the time to load the program in the Arduino. I have written the program which read the analog values from the potentiometers and convert these values into millisecond delays. This delay is used to generate frequency and this frequency is then converted to RPM using another simple equation. Project download link is in the description box. You can download the project and write this code into the Arduino board. Now this is the finished project. It has one potentiometer to set the output frequency rate and the other potentiometer is to fine tune the frequency by slightly increasing or decreasing the output frequency. Now let's start our stroboscope. As we start, its LED will start to blink at slightly low rate. Now we point the LED light towards a rotating fan. At first, fans appear to be rotating. But as we start to increase the output frequency, it reaches at the point where the fan appears to slow down or and eventually appears to be stopped and frozen in the time. It appears to be stopped because the frequency of the blinking LED light is perfectly matched with the rotational speed of the fan motor. This frequency value is then converted into the RPM using a simple formula in the Arduino programming code. And then this value is displayed on the LCD. So this is how we can make a stroke. That's the end of the today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and stay connected for more upcoming interesting videos. Till next video, take care and goodbye.